Welcome to Row with Controls. Here's your host, Steve Rowe. Hello everyone, Steve Rowe here. For this month's topic, well, in these beautiful summer months, I'd like to bring us outdoors. Let's talk about outdoor lighting, such as lighting for streets, highways, and municipalities. I want to start by level setting on outdoor lighting controls a bit here. First, outdoor lighting controls have existed for a long time. There's been ongoing standardization, allowing the mixing and matching of various light fixtures and control devices through common interfaces, such as the three and five pin NEMA receptacles. Second, when we get to networked lighting controls, there's a difference in primary functions between outdoor and indoor building adjacent lighting controls. Both are intended to save energy, of course, but in the indoor space, one of the primary functions of network lighting controls is for the control of the lights in response to user input, such as occupancy switch triggers, often used for comfort, safety, enhancement to the task being completed. But in the outdoor space, network lighting controls are typically used for management of the lighting assets first. Think about those managing the system being alerted to potential issues with the lighting asset. Now let's jump to the topic at hand, embedded controls. With the standardization that I just mentioned of marrying light to control, one might ask, why would we want embedded controls on outdoor lights? And what has changed to drive the market to embedded controls? The answer is simple, digital drivers. In the outdoor space, the availability of digital drivers will help us to realize the benefits of embedded controls. And here's the five reasons why. With digital driver connectivity, you can now get driver asset management data, which is more than what you were able to get previously. With embedded controls, number two, you have a single device to ship, stock, and install instead of a light fixture and a control device that ship separately and require coordination to marry together in the field. This may also reduce the potential points of water ingress. Three, you have guaranteed control and light fixture interoperability that is factory tested. Four. With digital drivers, we often see direct current or DC-based controls, which typically provides higher reliability versus the traditional line voltage controls since they're protected by the driver from transients, voltage spikes, and other line voltage anomalies. And five, and lastly, this is one of the very important ones, especially for any customers that are hesitant on embedded controls. Digital drivers with standards like D4i can allow for embedded controls from the factory, but the light fixture can still be outfitted with a standard receptacle for future control device if the customer desires. This gives you the best of both worlds. So here you have it, a wide variety of reasons for embedded controls in the outdoor space, all enabled through advancements in digital drivers. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on Row with Controls. Mm -hmm.